All right, so we're getting ready to do ground beef. Now Nick's gonna do our ground beef for it this morning. Like I said earlier, he does the counter most every single day all by himself. I just have the privilege of being back here with him today. Uh, we're getting ready to do our 93% lean. Uh, we use what's called beef special trim. It's super lean. You can see it comes in a bag, but this meat's super lean. There's little to no fat on it. Um, we're gonna start with our nice clean grinder. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the grinder. We're gonna grind it out. Uh, for what we do, we usually start with two bags of this special trim. It gives us a full tray of burger. Um, but we're going to grind this burger multiple times today. It just depends on how busy it is and what customers' demands are. We may grind it one time today, not likely, but more than likely probably about six or seven times throughout the course of the day. So he's got the burger and the, the raw meat in the grinder. He's going to go ahead and bump start this grinder a little bit. We don't have any product in here yet. So it's metal plates on metal knives in there. So we want to slowly bump start this so that we don't torch the grinder. So he's got some blood getting ready to come out. That means the meat's real close to coming. He's going to go ahead and tighten that head down just nice and snug. Uh, sharp knives and sharp plate. And we'll go ahead and get some meat coming out here for hamburger. He's going to have about a total of 25 or so pounds of uh, extra lean burger come out of the grinder. As it slow down, you can see the meat start, started slowing down coming out of the grinder. Uh, that means that it's at the end of what he's got. So now we're going to take this meat. At the butcher shop, we always grind everything two times. Uh, you can see a little bit of discoloration in here. Uh, we're going to put this back in the grinder. We're going to mix it up and then we are going to re-grind it for a second time. That gives it the best blend, the best flavor, and a, and a nice fine cut with sharp knives and sharp plate. Gives it a real nice texture and bite when you go ahead and bite into it. So the first little bit that's coming out right now is a portion of meat that was left here in the, in the head. So this is referred to as the head. There's a portion that doesn't come out because it has to have something behind it to push it out. So we throw the meat back in there, we grind that little portion out, throw it back in to make sure that it gets also blended and mixed into the burger for a nice even mix. So we have our empty tray here. This is what we start with, a narrow deep dish tray. Um, and Nick is going to go ahead and put the burger in this tray for display out front in the retail. It's going to take about three to four swirls each time the grinder turns on. He's going to go ahead and fill this tray up. He's going to kind of scoot up the one he had from before, place it right in there so it looks like a seamless roll of hamburger. All right, and there's our 93% lean, extra lean ground beef. All trayed up, pretty, ready to go. So what we have here is our uh, table trimmings from all of our steaks, our end cuts, our face cuts, everything else. Uh, we try to get to about 85% lean or better. This uh, is what's going to go in the grinder. And then this is going to become our ground chuck for this morning. And uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that in the grinder and get going. So similar to our ground sirloin, once this comes out the first time, he's going to go ahead and throw that in the mixer, let it mix up. We're going to grind out this first little handful again, throw that back in the grinder, and uh, get a nice blend in the mix. You see what it looks like inside the grinder here. It's been mixed up. Everything's been blended. It has a nice even color texture. Uh, you can see the fat particles through there. Nice even 85% lean, 15% fat and it's getting ready to come out of the grinder for its second grind to go out in the tray to go to the retail. All right, so there is our ground chuck, all done, ready to go. You put them side by side. I'm holding the ground sirloin here on your right. Nick's holding the ground chuck on the left. You can see the ground sirloin has a little bit different color. That's because it has a little bit more meat in it. It has a little bit brighter color because of the leanness of the meat. Um, and then the chuck has a little bit 
uh, lighter in color, um, a little bit more fat in there. We have 93% lean on the right. We have 85% lean on the left. Um, personally, if I'm making tacos, I might want the ground sirloin, but if I'm doing a hamburger patty or something on the grill, I'm gonna want the ground chuck for a little bit more flavor. But if you're doing something in a skillet or a frying pan, you may wanna opt for the ground sirloin for a little bit less fat. Um, either way, they're both fantastic burgers depending on what it is that you're, uh, what meal you're cooking and what you're trying to do.